Ooh, this is kind of crooked. So let me fix it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an updated eyebrow routine. So obviously I have already cleaned up my brows and um, I just wanted to let you all know that I'm trying my best to grow them out but you know I just can't leave them so messy for such a long time it bothers me so bad anyway here are some things you're going to be needing you're going to need a spoolie you're going to need a small concealer brush you're going to need a eyebrow brush or any like eyeliner brush that could be slanted like this one here with a slanted tip but I'm not going to be using this one I'm going to use a straight tip brush and you can use any powder or pomade or whatever cream that you'd like to use for your eyebrows. I tend to do like different types depending on my mood. Like what what kind of um, product do I feel like using today? So this one I've been using for a while and I really do like it. However, I suggest using a brow gel right after. I do have a brow gel, but this one is my NYX one, and it's brown, so this one tends to um, make the brows a little bit more darker and fuller, which is what I need in certain areas of my brow, so I like to use this afterwards. You, If your brows are already full enough, and you don't need that much coverage, you can always just go in with a clear brow gel. So, to get started, oh, and you might also want to use a compact mirror. Because it's a lot closer and you can get a better feel of how your how your eyebrows should look. So when it comes to doing your makeup or putting on your brows before your actual face makeup or whatever, you can do it any which way you'd like. But, for, but, ugh, I can't talk. These braces though, huh? But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be putting on makeup. I'm just going to do my eyebrows for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your spoolie and just comb out your brows like straight across. Don't arch it. Don't do anything. I'm trying to get my brows to become a little straighter. So that's why I didn't do too much plucking. So with this brow kit, is just a little brow kit from Wet n Wild. It's called Ultimate Brow Kit and it's awesome because it comes with um, the wax, a light color brown and a darker brown that I use. I use both of them. I don't really use the wax much because I have the brow gel for that. And it also came with a small little tweezer and this little brush that's here. The tweezers somewhere else because I, I have everything in one section. But the brush I started to use and I felt like I didn't have much, you know, control with where the, the product went with this brush. Because I feel like it's a little too thick. And it's still small, like, to hold. I feel like I'm like, like my hand is very heavy with this. So, I don't use it. So, now I'm just going to take up a little bit of the dark brown. And just tap it onto the brush. Just like that. And usually I like to take the darker color and focus it towards the middle and out to the end. So I like to usually line my brows. I'm going to use light feather strokes. And that's usually what I use to line, just line the bottom part with a little bit of the dark. Because it's really sparse there. And then whatever's left over, I use it for the front. The same thing for the top. Because it's so sparse there, like there's little to no hair there. I also like to drag it out a little bit more. Now with my eyebrows, my technique changes with every new product that's out there, every new technique that's out there. So I, I like to 
take what I learned from other people and then just adjust it to how I prefer to do my makeup. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter brown, just tap it onto the brush. And focus it right here and then just like feather like, feather like strokes upward. Upward in the front, leaning slanted towards the middle and then I'll fill in the brow with the darker brown at the end. And then whatever's left over, I just use it for the front. So that's basically it. Like, if you're really neat with it, then you don't really have to clean it up so much. But I like to clean up my brows anyway. So now I'm just taking the spoolie and combing it out so that all of the shadow um, blends better and looks more natural. So now that that's done, I'm going to take my little concealer brush and use any concealer that you feel comfortable with. Like, I wouldn't say to go light, light on the top of your eyebrow, but just to clean up and make it nice and bright under your brow, you should go with a lighter concealer color. So I'm using this Milani Conceal and Perfect just because it has a pump and all the rest of my concealers don't. So I'm going to use that. Just take one pump because I'm going to use it for the other eyebrow as well. My dog is on my bed. She's on my bed and she knows it. And she's like, let me just be quiet. So yeah. So usually when I conceal, I take a little bit of the product. I dab most of it on my hand just to get some of the product out. And then I'll start in the middle, right where the arch is. Just clean it up and then drag it out. And then you can use your finger or a brush to blend it out. So that's pretty much how I use, how I um, apply my brows lately. Now, of course, you can always go in with the um, mascara or the brow gel. But for now, I'll leave it like that. So now I'm going to do the other eyebrow. So this is the finish, the finish, the finished look. Oopsie. <laughs> I got concealer all over my hand. This is the finished look of my eyebrows. Um, 
It's really super fast and simple. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I will um, answer them if you leave comments in the comments box below. Um, also, if you have any other suggestions on what type of makeup looks you'd like to see or any tutorials, just let me know. I'll be, I'll be always happy and willing to do those videos for you all. So here's a quick close-up of how my eyebrows look after I do them. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.